Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I will show you how you set up a consent pop-up for your cookie policy in ASP.NET 6. So the first thing we will do is to enable a interface called eye tracking consent feature and we will do that by adding some options to the program.cs file. Next we will add the actual partial view for the pop-up. Then we will add some styling in CSS. And don't worry, this will just be a copy paste from my blog. I will link it down below in the description because this is not really a design video. It's more like a how you make it functional and how you make it work. But you can feel free to use the CSS we are going to, to copy and paste for whatever you want if you like the, the pop-up. And at last, we will include the partial view with the pop-up inside into our layouts file. So it will be displayed on every page on our website. Before we start the coding, I will just show you that this is the pop-up we're going to make. And there will be a text with a link to the cookie policy. And then there will be this accept button. And what this accept button will do is that if we take a look at this extension, you can see the the cookies on the website right now and we just have some uh, Google Analytics cookies right now but if I go and hit accept on this box we can now see that it added this ASP.NET consent cookie and with the value of yes so if I now refresh this site we will not get the pop-up again but what I will do now is go and make a new project so opening Visual Studio 2022 and inside here I will say create a new project and it will be a ASP.NET Core web app and we hit next and this doesn't really matter uh, just web application whatever and say next and then the important thing for this video is that we use .NET 6 and then we hit create so now that the project is set up I will go to the program.cs file and inside here I will just add a few lines just beneath the add razor pages and then I will go to my block because I have the code right here and first I will take the upper part of the program.cs code and copy and paste it and what we are doing here is that we are configuring the cookie policy options so that check consent needed is equal to true and the minimum same side policy is set to same side mode dot none and then the next thing is to go back to the block and copy and paste in the last part and insert it just beneath the use static files. And basically what we are saying here is that we want to use cookie policy on our website. So now the next thing we will do is to go to the pages folder and to the shared folder. And let's right click this one and say add new item. And inside here, we want to add a razor view empty page. And we will call it underscore cookie consent partial. And then we say add. So now I will go back to my block and I have the whole file here. So I will just copy and paste this and explain what it's going to do. So first of all, we're going to make a using statement where we use the Microsoft ASP net call HTTP features so now we can use the eye tracking consent feature inside our features and that will give us the variable consent feature flag and now we can use the consent feature flag to track if the banner should, should be shown or if it should not be shown and by saying banner i also mean the pop-up box and in the last variable we are just going to fetch the name of the cookie so now that we have a tracker that can say if we should uh, display the pop-up or not, we can put it in a if statement. So if we should show the pop-up, it will display this div. And this is just a div with an ID of cookie consent div and with a small header and a paragraph. And then we have the button. And then in the last part of this partial view, we have the script. And in this script, we are using jQuery. So we are also going to include the jQuery. And if you don't know what jQuery is, then it's just a library for JavaScript to make it easier to write. But what this will do is that when the document is ready, it will listen to if the button is 
clicked and if it is clicked we are going to add a cookie and at last it will then hide the pop-up box so next up to include the jquery we have to go to the layouts file and then in our head section i will just paste this code and right now at the moment it's not in my block but i will put it inside so when you are seeing this video you will just go to the block and copy and paste this code but that's why i'm not copying pasted it from the block right now so now let's go to the css file and it's inside this www root and the css folder and then site.css and then let's go to the block again and we will copy and paste all this css And basically the most important things in here is that it's positioned as fixed and it in the bottom it will have a value of zero so it will stick to the bottom of the page. And then we are making sure that it will be centered and inside the div we have a button which is displayed as block and also centered. And when you hover the button it will be dark green instead of green. And then I just adjust the font size on the text and making the link a little bit more special than the text uh, by making a underline. So now the last part is to include our cookie consent partial view inside our layout file. So let's go to the layout again and we can just go to the website and copy paste this one line. And as we know from the CSS, the position is fixed, so it really doesn't matter where we put it, uh, just that it's inside the body. So I'll just put it at the top. And then let's try and run the application. And as you can see now, we are on the default ASP.NET Core web page. And down at the bottom, we have our cookie policy consent pop up. And as we can see now, I have all these cookies because I use localhost to many projects. But if we go and say accept, we can now see that it added the cookie with the value of yes. So if we go and refresh now, it will not appear. But if we go and delete the cookie and we refresh again, we get it back. So just remember to have a cookie policy page so that you don't link to, you know, nothing. But I hope you liked the video and that you could use the consent pop-up. And you are very welcome to use this template. It's pretty easy to play around with. If you go into the, the CSS file, then you can, if you want it to, you know, have a width of 100%, you can do that instead. And let's try to get rid of the border radius. And we are going to say hot reload and go back to the page. And as you can see now, it's a very long one, but it's still pretty nice and if we try to watch the, the website as a mobile phone then you can see it will also match uh, very good but yeah i hope you liked the video and please subscribe to the channel if you like it and like the video and then i will see you next time in the next video bye